told you I was waiting on you. So look, check this out. I was going through the comments and I was going through my my DMs, Snapchat, Instagram, everything like that. And you guys are really like I, I guess I, I guess I can't say obsessed with Doja Cat. Now I don't really know too much about Doja Cat. Yeah, we've reacted to her maybe like two or three times, but I don't really know much about her. But you guys said that you wanted to see more, and I'm for it. So yeah, I'm not even gonna waste any more time. Let's just get straight into it. Let's check it out. Let go. She was on Wild and Out too? God damn, she's thick. That's Doja? Hell no. Nah. Hold up, let me calm down. We good? Ah, she is. Doja Cat, this up you won't believe. I went backstage and found the rest of your weed. <laughs> and I got loot. If she don't want to use it for a head, put it on your boots. That dude, Chico Bean. What the fuck are those, Nick? They Gucci, though, huh? Yo, she is thick. Oh my god. I love it though. That ain't I'm sorry. Live is the place for big music drop-ins and today we got one of the biggest and busiest names in music. Join me in welcoming Doja Cat. Guys, I didn't know she was that thick. I didn't know she was that fine. I really did it. I apologize. Y'all don't I'm giving her praise now. Oh my God. Don't do me like that. God Don't damn. Don't do me like that. You serving me. She's showing lots of skin. Come on now. And you're working every inch of it. Right, be careful with this look, dress. Look Doja looks amazing. Welcome back, Doja. It's great to see you again. You've been on such a meteoric rise. I mean, it's probably just a couple months since you've been at MTV, but it's felt probably like years for you with how much you've accomplished. Congratulations on Say So. Thank you so much. It's been out. You guys been loving it? The song's been out ever since you dropped Hot Pink, Doja, but it really took off thanks to this TikTok challenge. It's cool you put Haley Sharp in the video there, gave her her praise, of course, her yes. followers. Yes, yeah. Um, what was it like watching this just go crazy on TikTok? I, I, one, thank you, Haley. I love you so much. I wish she was here. Um, I am so excited about this. I'm so excited about the success that it's made. I didn't know people like disco so much. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's take it back to the 70s. Um, but that's really, really cool. I, I'm, I'm so grateful, and it feels great. It feels really, really great. You mentioned disco. I love the 70s vibes of the visuals you gave us with Say So. Why was that the creative direction you wanted to take? Um, it just felt like a disco song. And also the uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah. That, you can't not wear an afro in the video if you're doing that. Like, you have to. You got to go full out. We wanted to play a game with you because when She we seems fun, humble, you know, you but it doesn't game. seem like the crowd is messing with this her. Or that. With Doja Cat. All right, there's gonna be rapid fire questions, toss ups. Are you ready? Yes. Right, Yo. Here we go. Toss up number one, this or that, juicy or say so? Oh, don't do that. Say, say, juicy. <laughs> okay, Instagram live or TikTok? Uh, Instagram live. Instagram live. It's okay, go. Big concerts or intimate performances? Big concerts. Because everybody gets to, you know, okay, everybody's Doja, involved. Okay, it's rapid fire, girl. Are you going with latex or fur? Ooh, latex. Okay. Pizza or pasta, <laughs> Doja? What, what? Pizza or pasta? Pizza or pasta, pizza. Tia or Tamara? Tia, ooh, I was a Tia kind of guy. I'm going to get in trouble, Tamara. <laughs> and last one, Dream Club, Drake or Erica Badu? Mm. Oh. Oh. Don't do that. Oh, you got it. You got it. It's fresh out live. You got it. Drerica Badu. <laughs> <laughs> Cat, thank you so much for stopping by. Why don't you say so? Say so was a. It was so. Like when I got that beat, I went home and I locked myself in my room 
and I was like, let me just open this up on Logic. I opened it up. I thought I mumbled it. That's how I began. And uh, it, it just fell together really nicely, lyrically, I feel like. Wow. Yo, this video is dope as hell. Like, these moments? The inspiration behind the lyrics for Say So, it was more of a musical thing when I started, and then it became something about a, you know, when you go somewhere, you see someone, and they don't approach you, but you guys are looking at each other, and you can feel like there's something there. Big facts. I felt that before. I've done that plenty of times. But you know, you know, Drizzy B. Drizzy does Drizzy from time to time. Right. 70s kind of more vintagey funky music i feel like that's kind of my bag and I, I i love it i love it so much it's really fun to make 70s and funk type stuff wow yo this this video this this moment is crazy lit right now thing about say so is that the production felt very disco-y i just felt after i wrote the hook that there was a space there that needed like a uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. and I don't know what it is. Something about the seventies just makes me feel like a uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. I don't know. I don't know why. When my fans listen to say so or my non fans listen to it, I want the same thing that I want when they listen to any of my music to feel that emotion and that that feeling of needing to move and and just the the strength of the musical aspect of it. I'm always about how it makes you physically feel when you hear it. That's dope. When I look back on my life, the one thing I want to remember the most is probably all of the creative moments that I had and all of the beautiful emotional moments that I had with the people around me. I need to know what interview this is. For someone who because this quality is dope. Advice from someone like me. Uh, my advice is to not listen to me. <laughs> huh. No, my advice would be is uh, follow your gut. You're going to mess up. And that's cool. There's nothing wrong with that. Because then what? who would you be and how would you fix those mistakes not knowing what those mistakes are make mistakes big facts big, but make them wow that's crazy i need that interview guys that interview was crazy that production quality was top notch i need that nick bro i don't know if you know this but it's big guy season right now and lizzo has inspired me to love my body so, so Nick, the longer you hold that water in, the more clothes I'm gonna take off. Spit, spit. He's in his drawers. Oh no, spit, spit, Nick. Ah, <laughs> uh, no cap, Big Mac, you a fool. Okay, holla ball game. What was that? jokes for this game so actually DC wrote me some jokes <laughs> like being DC <laughs> That's dope. Damn, Doja 
educate. You dig it in a kindergarten pencil. No cat. Thank you, Carlos. You a real one. Big Mac, you shaped like a dirty mattress. Let's go. Clap it up. Hitman finally came out. <laughs> Okay, Nick, we're gonna play Never Have I Ever. If you have done it, you have to spit the water out. Never Have I Ever got an Oscar. I thought you got one for Drumline. Okay. Never Shot have five. I ever wanted to have sex with B. Simone. That was easy, I knew it. <laughs> <laughs> Big Mac, you left your neck beard. Doja, I um, I heard I heard you date white dudes. So, the longer you keep that water in your mouth, the more clothes I'm gonna take off. Nah. Yo, Doja. Uh, quiet, quiet. Yeah, yeah. Doja, Doja, no, I want to soak you. Roll you up, get in, smoke you. Yeah, glad you came to get wild, but the rest of your squad look like black and mild. <laughs> Especially DC. You okay. look like the strawberry one. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay. Old McDonald had a farm. E -I -E -I -O. Old McDonald had a farm. You come in at you rap like a mom why you always dressing like a genie will smith did that that's his job hey i don't know where that 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 came from but that was crazy i didn't know she was looking like that like you you feel i didn't i didn't know guys i didn't know but I need to know where that interview was coming from when she was talking about say so. So if you guys know where that interview is, because that production and that quality for that interview was crazy lit. So I can only imagine what they did with other artists. If you guys like the reaction, let me know in the comment section down below. If you want to see more artists like that, you know the comment section down below belongs to you. If you do your part, I can do mine. We can run up another check and we can keep this thing rocking. No cap, folks. Yes, sir. But you already know where I am. I'm in the next video. And I'm waiting on you. I'm waiting on you. So I'll catch you in the next video. Make sure you hit the like button before you leave this video. And if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. After that, I'll catch you in the next video. I'm out of here. What's in the dark? You gotta come to the light. Oh, yeah.